Hello you wonderful people I hope you all are doing absolutely great thanks a lot for showing lots of love to the channel and the videos that I am posting so I'm really grateful to you all for that so in today's video I'm going to discuss with you all five easy steps if you follow these steps you can land a biomedical engineering job in the core biomedical field so without further ado let's dive into the video and let's see what are the five steps which will help you to land a job in the biomedical field Okay, so starting off with the first step you need to focus on when you're looking for a biomedical job is sharpen your skills. When I talk about skills, there are three important skills you need to focus on. Technical skill, software skill and soft skill. So when you talk about technical skill, you need to brush up on your biomedical fundamentals, which is biomechanics, biomaterials, medical device design and all the other concepts that you come across in four years of your college. That's how you improvise on your technical skills. Then when you talk about your software skills, you need to learn programs commonly used in the biomedical engineering field. Like I said, I've always mentioned it a lot of times. You need to learn about CAD designing software. You need to learn about finite element analysis. You need to learn about data analysis tools. You can also learn programming languages. You can learn non-technical softwares like Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve or Filmora, which is used for video editing. You can also uh, learn Coral Draw. You can also learn Blender. So all these softwares are good for a biomedical engineer. And I think you have to learn a lot of softwares which will help your resume stand out from other people. And that's how you improvise on your software skills. And finally, your soft skills wherein you have to improvise on your communication, teamwork, problem solving, which are very much essential in job. And it is very important for you to communicate really well so that when you're giving the interview, you are able to articulate your knowledge to the, some, to, to the person who is taking the interview, right? So this is the first step you need to focus on when you're looking for a job, which is improvising on your skills. When I talk about skills, three important skills, technical skills, software skill, and uh, soft skill. Cool. Once you're done with this, you need to build your network. That is the second step. So the second step is to build your network. Connect with professionals. What I mean by this is first you need to be very active on LinkedIn and you, you need to connect with industry professionals, right? You need to attend workshops, you need to attend conferences, you need to join online communities that are there, you need to join online groups that are there in LinkedIn, you need to reach out to biomedical engineers. And also you can reach out to your college alumni who are already placed in some companies and they can always refer you in their own company, right? So focus on building your network. And for that, the first thing that you do is be active on LinkedIn and connect with industry professionals. Once that is done, the second uh, point where you have to focus is professors as mentors. So utilize your professor's expertise, seek guidance on career paths and potential research opportunities. So what I mean by this is eventually if you are in final year, your, uh, your college professors and your college mentors will always have a lot of connections with research associates with the people who are working in companies as interns or you know people working in startup companies they can always help you out to get into that company as one of a research scholar or as was an as one of as a research intern wherein you can join as an intern but eventually as your internship is over you can join as a full-time employee right so this is what i mean by build your network the more you build your network with people the more you are active on linkedin the more you are connecting with people on linkedin the more you are messaging them the more you are connecting with hr you can always ask them for an opportunity i am a biomedical engineering student i am finishing my final year and i'm looking for an opportunity to join your company could you please help just just send this message every day to 10 people and you will see that in a week's time you will have a couple of interviews scheduled in place for you Cool. So first step is to sharpen your skills. Second step is to build your network. And third step, which is to craft a stellar resume and a cover letter. This is the common mistake that most of the college students make. When you talk about resume, you don't add anything. You are like one page, skills, education, certification, languages. That's not how you have to make your resume. When you talk about a stellar resume, an amazing resume, it should be at least two to three, three to four pages long as a fresher. And I've always told this a lot of times in my channel, as a fresher, you need to showcase your skills that in four years of college, I have done so many things and that makes me marketable and that makes me unique to join your company. But again, what I'm seeing right now in like 
people that those who are applying those who are getting rejected the only reason is because your resume is not up to the mark right it looks very empty and i have seen a lot of resumes where you have uh, you have a skill section you have written communication problem solving add biomedical skills add what you have studied add matlab lab view python or you know video editing softwares list those softwares these are the skills that will come under hard skills these are the core skills that the hr will look at so if in the skill section if you are writing soft skill uh, in the skills section you are writing communication team player problem solving presentation making they will reject you immediately so have a section core skills you can mention image processing signal processing lab view matlab programming c programming embedded c blender whatever you have list and in the soft skill section you need to mention communication problem solving team player and uh, adaptable things like that right so resume very important how to make a resume you guys have uh, you guys don't know how to make a good resume i have already already made a video i think you can find the link somewhere here or here uh, just click on that go i have taught you guys how to make a resume from scratch go watch that video and make your resume right so again don't make one resume and apply to all the companies go to the company's job description see what skills are required change your resume accordingly and then apply if you are thinking that i'll make one resume and apply to 10 companies all the 10 companies will reject you right so very important for you to make sure that you are tailoring your resume with respect to the job opportunities you are applying to so step 3 is make a stellar resume and a cover letter if required so first step sharpen your skills second step build with uh, build up your connections build up your network third thing is making an making an amazing resume and fourth step is to apply for jobs how do you apply for jobs i will tell you three platforms where you can go and apply for jobs first is linkedin my favorite so linkedin linkedin make your profile add your resume you can start applying to companies with single taps right it's called linkedin easy apply just have to click apply and it will apply for uh, the company wherever you want to apply to so first make sure you are applying 5 to 10 companies every day on linkedin second go to intern shala in intern shala you will find job section wherein a lot of job opportunities are there but these job opportunities are major uh, majority of the job opportunities are towards non technical non biomedical related fields but i would highly recommend you to get placed like join a company even if it's sales graphic designing video editing join the company and simultaneously look for a good biomedical job understanding my point so in that way your resume will not have or uh, yeah your resume will not have a gap of you know let's say one year six months three months or anything of that sort so first is linkedin second is intern shala third is naukri or indeed i will not recommend naukri because a lot of scam job uh, holdings are there so always go for indeed indeed has a lot of opportunities for biomedical engineers they will be slightly less paying because you are a fresher but as i said if you are having skills in your resume you can always negotiate on the salary so 10 companies on linkedin 10 companies on indeed and 10 companies on intern shala apply to 30 companies every day and you do the math 5 days let's say you are applying right 30 companies every day so 30 60 90 120 150 enough in 5 days you are applying to 150 companies and you are telling me that you cannot get one single interview opportunity lined up for you so try doing it right because that is what i have done and that is what have got me where i am today applying regularly right so once you apply for jobs which is step 4 you get a shortlisted call step 5 is when you prepare for your interview so when you prepare for interview there are three important things i want to tell you guys first is research about the company understand the company's mission vision and uh, what are the values they are offering and their current projects they are working on right so very important thing research about the company understand their mission vision value and current projects that they are working on practice makes perfect so do mock interviews If you guys don't have anyone to take your mock interview you can reach out to me schedule a 30 minutes free call from my LinkedIn profile and then I can take a mock interview for you just send me the job description and I can help you practice the interview so that you can kill the interview right so practice makes the man perfect apply as many internships as many interviews as possible once you are shortlisted research about the company understand their mission vision value and current projects that they are working on 
once that is done do mock interviews if you don't have anyone i am there to help you out and third and the most important thing is when you are going for the interview you need to be confident and you and, in, and you need to be enthusiastic what i mean by confident is that you should not be like my name is uh, thomas i did biomedical engineering i am looking for a job this is not confident confident would be something like hi my name is thomas and i am doing final year i am currently pursuing my biomedical engineering i am in my final year and i am looking for jobs my focus is to create an impact on the healthcare domain i am looking for startup companies where i can learn and grow with the company this is being confident like i am confident about what i am saying and when you are confident even when the interviewer asks you something if you don't know about it just say it confidently so that the person feels that okay he knows something or the other if not completely right so be confident five steps that's how you land a job five steps very easy first is uh, sharpen your skills second is build your network third is create your resume fourth is go for the job hunt fifth is acing the interview and some bonus tips can be linkedin profile and portfolio website linkedin profile optimize it if you don't know i have a master class video on my profile a youtube profile go and check that check out that video and second thing is you can also create a portfolio website which is a website like www.sijinthomas.com if i open the website it's my resume in a very creative way and that makes you stand out again so these are two bonus tips i had for you guys so i hope this video helps you find and land a job in the biomedical industry and uh, i feel this video helps if you feel this is helpful like comment and share with all your college friends and colleagues who are looking for job opportunities and who are not able to make it and crack the interview i'll see you in the next till then stay safe signing off it's your biomed bro learn and grow together bye bye